Today on Dice to Pixels, we're going to be talking about the greatest game to be released in the last decade. Wait, when was Cat Quest 2 come out? Less than a decade ago. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so cat quest 3 came out it, we haven't played it yet though no but you said it, yesterday yeah it came out on august 8th which is also uh international cat day or something to that equivalent so it obviously was a very time it was a timed release profoundly appropriate yes yes, yes. Yeah. and then um game developer that i've played a couple of, they do mostly um find object games um called uh dev cats they also have put up a sale for cat awareness um i don't know if it will still be going on on the 10th but it's currently on steam right now on august 9th and there's lots of cat related games that are on for sale and there's a lot of free games there too so and if it isn't available on 10th get in your time machine and go back to the 9th and then you can partake or just look up the cat games yeah, I do. I suppose, if you yeah. want to be lame about it. Oh, fine. Uh, so, no Chad in the studio tonight. Uh, he's been having a bit of a rough week and took yeah. a week, it took a, a day off, we'll, we'll say. It certainly didn't take a whole week off. No. Uh, but he should be back with us in the studio next week, I would expect, because we're also hoping to do our uh, our little board game uh, night next week. Yes. At next weekend. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't actually gotten together as a group to like play physical games in person in since your birthday. Yeah, way too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that'll be nice. Yeah. And then um, I'm going to uh, in September. I my gaming group that mm-hmm. I have sort of shoehorned my way into is going to be hopefully kicking off our massive tournament. Oh, yes. And I'm going to, if any of those games strike my fancy, I'm going to open up some games for anyone who wants to play, uh, like on the Discord, Mm -hmm. uh, anyone who wants to join them, because all you need is an account at that point, because I have the premium access, so they don't, nobody else needs the... Oh, for Board Game Arena. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean... You didn't say that bit. No, I, it's true. I, I figured people would put that together, but not everybody watches every episode. Exactly. For shame. <laughs> or welcome to your first episode. Hey, yeah, maybe. But it would be a little weird. Well, no, I guess everybody. Why wouldn't, yeah, why wouldn't you start wor- yeah. where we are now? Everybody don't, comes in. Don't watch one. the first couple episodes. They're rough. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try and pass that audio through AI at some point because um, in theory, what I can do is I can train an AI uh, very easily on mm-hmm. our voices so it can talk like us. And then I can have it redub the original video. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's like a little like wonky, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> <That's> spooky. <laughs> yeah. If it works, I'm going to be a little distressed. But because uh, like, I don't know if it'll do the, the time syncing correctly. Yeah. It, if it can get it, though, I'll be very impressed. I would. All I can imagine now is just having a soundboard of each of us. So if one of us misses something, we can just pipe. <laughs> Well, that we could totally do. Uh, like mimicking voices, we've been able to do for a while. Yeah. Um, but like getting intonation and like laughing and stuff, and getting it time synced to a video. Yeah. In theory, we're getting pretty close to that. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I, mm-hmm. I'm going to give it a shot because I would love to fix the audio for those ones. But yeah. I just I didn't I didn't do a good enough job capturing the audio there's just there's not enough there Mm -hmm. there's enough there that an ai can easily tell what we're saying like the transcripts are fine yeah so regenerating it uh with our voices as long as it can mimic us should be fine Mm -hmm. um i mean if there's ever a use uh, uh, like a uh morally completely okay version of using our voices through ai that's got to be it yeah um, so I'm going to try that at some point in the future. I'm not itching to do it, but, yep. um, yeah, the few episodes, the first two, three episodes, the first one is bad. And then the next like two or three are like, eh, they're bad, but I've heard worse. Yeah. And then it gets decent. And then nobody fucking told me, but like up, like there was three weeks, I guess, three or four weeks where the audio was just not really that good i mean most people probably thought it was fine but i piped up one of the episodes on my tv and i'm like did my fucking mic just clip (laughs) 
So I went through a couple of weeks ago and tweaked all the settings again. And, and I think that's all put to bed now. Mm-hmm. But I was watching. I'm like, how did nobody tell me this? I think it's because nobody noticed, but still. Yep. No one's the same level of perfectionist as you are. With well, that. fuck that. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So Cat Quest 3, I'm actually, I'm going to be playing that this weekend. Uh, that is a game I will spend the money on. Yeah. It's not, and it's not terribly expensive either. It, there's there a price jump I was mentioning earlier from the first two games, because the first two games are, what, less than $5, or less than $10 at least, probably less than 5 each on Steam, whereas this one is like twenty three ninety nine. But they're fun games. They have couch co-op. I think it also has online. Don't quote me on that for sure, but I know it has couch co-op. Um, so, yeah, if you find someone that you enjoy playing with, like, it's probably well worth the money, considering uh, the first two games. I've never enjoyed playing a game with anyone else ever. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to tell Danielle that. And Chad. And, and Chad. You, and everyone that I used to play games <laughs> with and still do. <laughs> um, yeah. That, I mean, honestly, I was only half kidding about it being the best game released. Obviously, this decade was a massive exaggeration. Mm-hmm. But so far this year? Yeah. Probably. Probably. And and I say that because they were just so clean. Like they yeah. they're just good games. They're not the best, really, but they're so good. There's just no downside no. to them. No, for for what you're paying for them, the the quality like you're paying like a, a really nice low price, but yeah. the quality is like way higher. Like the what they're charging for Cat Quest Three feels reasonable for the quality of the game. Yeah, I mean Cat Quest one was already pretty good quality and then number two was like as solid quality as pretty much any game that isn't triple a that i've ever played and three like i haven't even looked at it yet i just i will buy it as soon as we're done basically um but i can i can already guarantee that it'll look great yeah so yeah anyways i'm excited yeah me too the other game that i've been playing Mm -hmm. this week and i've come to the realization that all of my game uh all of the games that i play now are a direct result of watching various youtubers play games uh the latest is man eater which is which is a oh the older shark game. game yeah it's like two years old now isn't it yeah yeah and and danielle and i even checked it out when it first came out because danielle loves sharks and she was like oh i'm gonna check this out yeah. she's terrible at video games so she had a real struggle with it i had no problem with it um watching a, a guy um, oompaville uh yes. who is dating call me chris who i've danielle and i've watched for a while uh, and he was doing a, this is like old videos. Like it was mm-hmm. when it came out, I guess. Um, but they were in my for you page and okay, fine. Uh, watching him just mow down on people. I was like, yeah, I remember that game. It was kind of fun and it was, but I played like four hours of it and I <coughs> definitely feel like I got the experience. Yeah. Um, it's cool. It's, it's kind of nice. Um, like it's, it's a chill game if you're good at games if if you're terrible at controls it would be pretty hectic mm-hmm. but as long as you're decent at controls it's not too bad um very pretty kind of a subnautica feel but not really mm-hmm. um and uh yeah just chill but after four hours i was like okay like i've, I've you done had this. your feel it's it sounds like it's kind of like um it's a, a game you dip into periodically when you don't really know what to play but you don't want to play like a cozy game you want something that yeah. Is vaguely violent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah, very extremely violent. Um <laughs> it's it's like GTA as mm-hmm. a shark, mm-hmm. except that GTA has the benefit of if you ever get bored, you go onto a military base and you steal a tank or you steal a jet yeah. or you whatever. In this you're you're a shark. That's that's what yeah. you get. So if you start to get a little blase about what you're doing, it's like, well, cool then you're blase on the game. There's no different thing. Like there's no other species that you can jump to or mm-hmm. something. If there were, it might be more interesting if yeah. you could like switch over to uh, a whatever, a sea turtle for a little while and avoid getting eaten or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, that might be interesting. But so far as I can tell, there is no mode like that in the game, which is fair. Yeah. Not every game needs to be super in depth, mm-hmm. but uh, it was definitely a... Uh, an afternoon, uh, like two afternoons sort of, okay, yeah, I've pretty much 
exercise this game. I'll probably come back to it eventually. Mm -hmm. um, John Temple on chat brings up uh, uh, an interesting point, which is Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, yeah. Says, yeah. Uh, Finally got to well. Said he got excited. Did you get to level five, or did you get excited to get to level five? Uh, I feel like I need to get back in and actually play Baldur's Three at some point. Baldur's Gate Three at some point because I I started it and then just sort of petered out on it. Mm -hmm. But it like it is a good game. It's expansive. You did get five, yeah. I think I got one when I started playing. If you start at one, I might have got two. Yeah. I think you start at one and I got two. Yeah. yeah I can't remember what level I got to. Because I'd started playing it on Steam Deck, and it makes the Steam Deck chug. Like, it, it's hard on the Steam Deck. That's but it's on um, Game Pass, so we yeah. re-downloaded it, and I restarted it on Game Pass. And it runs a lot better, and I know I got a lot farther on Game Pass. That's right. I was going to install it on the gaming uh, machine so that I could play it there. Because then, then it would be maximally pretty as well. Did you call it the gaming machine? Yeah, sorry, my gaming computer. Oh, like my gaming okay. PC. I was like, what is, uh, are you 80 years old? <laughs> Get it installed on the good old gaming machine. No, no, I meant my gaming PC, sorry. Okay. Because uh, it's, it's got a decent video card and everything. Yeah. Uh, got it for when it released. Yeah, I think that's when Danielle got it too, was Xbox. Because uh, she got it right away. I think she pre-ordered Yeah. I think that was the game that I'm like, no, we're not going to pre-order it. And then we went upstairs and she was like, I want to pre-order it. Fine, make a liar of me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if it's on, I, I remember that now. It's on Game Pass, and yep. I was going to install it on the the gaming PC, uh, so that I could play it in in high res glory mm -hmm. and and high frame rate and everything. Yeah. Yeah, bud. Um, have you played anything else this week? I know you've been playing Market. Yes, I had Market again. Well, I tried to play Market on Thursday, but. Sorry, yeah, you Game played got... you played market prep. prep. Yes, yeah. um, but uh, I played a uh, actually Monday because it was the long weekend last mm -hmm. week for us. Um, I played a buttload of Golden Sun, and um, I'll probably end up finishing it this weekend finally, which will make uh, my friend Kylie very happy. <laughs> I was actually going to ask if you had finished it, but yeah, obviously no, not like. Yet. It, I'm right near the end of it, so I probably will be able... I'll probably finish it midday tomorrow, so... Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Chad's been playing a lot of um, a free MMO called uh, The First Descendant, and I'm sure he will share a lot of his feelings with us at some point when he... Probably next week when he's back here, but uh, he was... It's a very pay-to-win game, and it was frustrating him. It is the one where you that we played in beta the chat and i played in beta where you you have like the central hub that you go to to stock up it's sort of like a i almost think it was like a floating city or something and then I you think like so, yeah you have like a grappling hook and and alien waves and stuff like that yeah. sort of thing yeah 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the game that i'm thinking of and yeah i played the beta and it was fine yeah but it seemed just epically uh repetitive and the yes. loot was horrible yes that's it's i don't i know you've never played it but for reference if anyone's played warframe it's like warframe with destiny graphics because there's a lot of time that i'll look up and i'm like oh shit this looks like destiny and even like some of the helmets on some of the characters look like destiny helmets but the the way you get the, basically the characters that you're playing are called descendants yeah. and to get new descendants you either have to buy their their stupid currency because it's another one of those games where you have to buy the currency to buy the stuff of course of course or you have to put in hours and hours and hours and hours to randomly get ingredients to research and get new descendants that's right. Yeah. yeah. And and the other thing I remember about the loot was that it just seemed kind of nonsensical. Like I remember getting a lot of loot and taking it back to the base and just being like, this isn't, it's just not even close to worth anything. It's it's just yeah. stupid. I don't know where, where the storage was, but he was showing me a storage just full of like random ingredients and mats for research but it was for like things he wasn't even attempting to research at this point there was no point to most of the stuff that he had 
Yeah, I I think I might have even said at the time that I thought that it would be greatly improved if there was a way to swap materials, mm -hmm. even if it was like a Settlers of Catan type thing where it's like I'll swap three of these for one of these or something. Yeah. Um, because yeah, it, you got a lot of random shit and a lot of bad shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it would have been much better if there was a way to just make some fucking use of that stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, I'll probably check it out again though, because I do remember liking the core loop. It just mm -hmm. got very repetitive very quickly. Yeah. yeah. Which is all right if you're just wanting to go out and shoot some stuff, which. Yeah. It's always nice to just to do that, semi brainless. But um going into other MMO news, I guess uh World of Warcraft with the beta for the newest release, um, whatever I can't think of what it's called right now, just second. War within, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a bug with one of the releases for that where you would turn in quests and you would get the the transmog formula, whatever, unlock for all of the quest rewards, even for stuff that your character technically couldn't oh, interesting. wear. It was a weird bug. They've decided to keep it in hmm. and let it continue. It's turning into a uh, quality of life feature, which is kind of cool because the number of times that I've been like, oh man, this outfit's cool. Oh, warrior only on my shaman. Great. Fantastic. Can't yeah, wear that. Cool. Yeah. I like that. Um, yeah, that never really made a ton of sense to me. The the class, like other than I, I guess the like tiered that makes armor, sense. right? Yeah. Fair enough. But everything else, I'm like, who cares if it if I can wear something that looks like it? Like I get restricting yeah. the actual effects, but like, yeah. If I'm a warrior that wants to look like a wizard, why not? Right? Screw you. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. um. Yeah, World of Warcraft. I, it it does not occupy much of my brain space anymore. I played it again for a while um, in May and June after Chad's show because uh, I found out that one of our friends, she also plays, and she actually has been playing on the same server that I've been playing on for years, mm -hmm. Blade's Edge. And uh, I went and I played some of that, and then just markets and stuff started coming up, so that kind of came a time suck and yeah yeah I, I haven't had really any time to play mmos mm -hmm. properly in in quite a while i'm hoping someday i'll be able to sink some time into them again but yeah every time i think about getting back into something either tibia or getting into something new i'm just mm -hmm. like or i could do something useful with my time yeah also i apologize i, I keep seeing out of the corner of my eye it looks like ca uh, sarah's camera might be like jittering every now and then uh i apologize for that i don't know what the hell's going on um probably needs to be resynced but we can't do that while we're recording so too bad <laughs> uh hopefully it hasn't been happening much while you're talking just in the background yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's super fun. I'm really excited about Cat Quest 3. Uh, that is legitimately a game that I'm excited to play. Yeah, yeah. And there was something else. That, oh, uh, total, totally accurate battle simulator. Again, not new, uh, but yeah, I, I saw a YouTube of, of somebody playing that. And, like, you get to build your own units and stuff. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah, that's I could, a very Adrian game. <laughs> I could lose some time in that. Yeah. So uh, if if I end up streaming uh, in the near future, I'm going to stream that. Nice. Because I think that would be entertaining to stream because audience can, can suggest ridiculous units to try and make. Mm -hmm. And also, it's right up my fucking alley. Yeah. So I think I'm going to... Next time it goes on sale, I'm going to grab it, uh, and then I will stream it at some point. I mean, I could just – it's not that expensive, but I'm also not, like, chomping at the bit to stream right now because I got other shit to do. But yeah. when I when I do stream, I'm going to stream some tabs because I think that'll be fun for a, for an hour or two while chatting to a camera. Yeah. Um, actually, a game I'm looking forward to getting at some point – two games, actually. Fields of Mistra. It's – Yet another farming simulator, but there's just something about this one that seems a little bit different than other ones. Um, it's pixel art, too. And a lot of people, when you look at the reviews on Steam, they're uh, comparing the art style of, like, the close-up of the characters to Sailor Moon. 
I see is, that. Yep. Yeah. Um, which is funny. And then another one that I'm actually like, know I will be very nervous and uncomfortable playing because I'll be too stressed out, but also looks really, really good. And I think Danielle might even like it. It's Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit. Mm-hmm. An actual fri- Five Nights at Freddy's game I'm interested in, but it's a side scroller pixel game. So it's like kind of the ideas of it, but it, there's, I think you're playing as a kid during kind of like the in between times and trying not to get kidnapped by the creepy things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I still want to do the, uh, night vision stream of us playing horror games. Uh, I have not had the time to finish converting these guys because um, I, I haven't talked about this in ages, so it's entirely possible that people don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I have some some like crappy camcorders. They're they're okay, but they're they're kind of crappy, uh, and uh, I have like six of them, uh, and I can take the IR filter out of them to turn them into basic night vision cameras, and I want to set up a stream with multiple angles um, of us playing like in a completely blacked out room. So it's just the TV. Uh, I want to film us playing some horror games. Uh, Myself, I don't know that it'll be that interesting, (laughs) but uh, Danielle and Sarah should be (laughs) thoroughly entertaining. I will stress myself out more than is actually necessary. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So hopefully that'll be, uh, That'll be coming down the pipe eventually. It's it's not that hard to do. Now, I, I did it with one. I need to do it with a couple more. I kind of broke it when I was doing it. It works, but I, I lost some screws, so it didn't go together quite ah. right. Uh, and there's also, when you take off the IR filter, there's a gap, and I need to 3D print a ring to, like, a gasket to hold it in place. Um, so, yeah, I need to get back to that at some point. But that will be coming down the pipe. I... It's very much high on my list of things that I want to do when I have some time. I just haven't. I feel like it would be very appropriate for spooky season. Would love to do it for Halloween. Yeah. Uh, Halloween time, not yeah. on Halloween necessarily. Yeah. But um, but yeah, Silent Hill games would be very oh, appropriate. God. Yeah. Uh, John, you'll have to you'll have to ping me in Discord or something, Zebra Command, because I'm actually not sure. The only thing I found was a programming language. When I looked for that, unless that's a unit in tabs, in which case I will check it out. But, um, yeah. So anyways, Mm -hmm. would love to do some horror, horror gaming, uh, some blacked out scary stuff. I will commit to after checking it very thoroughly for spiders, because apparently they like to hide in VR headsets sometimes. What? Yeah, it's rare, but I'm like, that would I, I would have that. a heart attack. I um, hate that. I don't mind spiders, but made, I hate that. Yeah, yeah. Something you made up. Oh, then yes, yes. That is absolutely something you can request when I'm doing tabs. Uh, I think Zebra Command is a great idea. Um, I will commit... Once I thoroughly despider the uh, the VR headset, which is mostly just making sure there aren't any in there, uh, I will play VR Alien Isolation. Oh on my Steam. god! I will I will do that, and I will even try. I this should be simple. I will make a, a college effort to hook up a pulse monitor. Yeah. We'll we'll see if that actually works, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm not going to buy anything to do it, but I think I already have a Bluetooth one. So I think the... Could you not even just do that with uh, like your Apple Watch or something? It's extremely inconsistent and inaccurate, especially when you're like playing games and stuff. Uh, in theory, yes. But I also have the one from the Peloton, which uh... I think is Ant, but I think it's close enough to Bluetooth that I mm-hmm. could make it work. We'll see. I'm not that worried about the pulse me- pulse meter because, I mean, if I'm shitting myself, you'll know it. Um, <laughs> but uh, I will commit to playing VR Alien Isolation on stream once I get the night vision stuff set up. Yeah. Because, I mean, you got it, right? I, I've been told by many people, and I've I've briefly tried it and tend to concur that it it in VR is pretty much the most terrifying like game experience you can have so. i've just watched people play it normally on youtube a little bit and i'm like oh boy 
Yeah, yeah. Having fully 3D audio and not being able to look away or anything else and just like anywhere you look having <laughs> more alien isolation. <laughs> apparently, like it, I, I only played for like two minutes, but apparently it gets really fucking intense. So that'll be something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then also I would love to just uh, we'll have to figure this out. This is actually probably easier because it doesn't require blacking out or anything. Uh, but uh, I'd love to play some. Don't keep talking and nobody explodes. I would love to play that game so much. Whether it's VR or not, like VR is convenient because you can play all on the same camera because yeah. you guys can watch on the TV and and well whoever has the headset on can be there. Uh, so it's convenient. Um, I uh, we should set that up at some point because yes. that that's pretty easy to do in terms mm -hmm. of a stream uh and i think it's fun right uh until dawn in pitch black room uh all right yeah we can uh Ooh, yeah what's until dawn i actually don't recognize that um it's i think it's like a survival horror game oh yeah okay yeah i yeah. know what it is yeah. yeah 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 uh that would be fun yeah for mm -hmm. sure there's a there's a few games that i think could be a lot more fun than they normally seem like in uh, a properly dark room and that's the key to having the night vision because yeah. when when streamers typically do horror games like they're in a very well lit room because they have to be because of the camera yeah we'll have ir lighting like we will be well lit in ir but like we won't be able to see jack shit except yeah. for whatever we're playing yeah so I, I think it'll add some dimension i wonder so i wonder to me, doing something like that with a group of people almost would be worse than doing it on my own. Yeah, I think so. There's, there's something with group dynamics for that. Yeah. Yeah. The only other thing I would love to get installed, and this is actually probably easy to do. Um, I just need to find some that aren't don't come in a pack of like excessive numbers. They I've mentioned them before. They sell bass shakers, like bass shakers. For they're basically for inaudible frequencies. So the idea is like you install them in your couch or whatever, or like behind oh. your seat, so it actually rumbles your seat. Yeah. It, it doesn't really make any sound, but it like shakes. Yeah. So you get that like that real, real, real head of bass, like mm -hmm. right where you want it, like right on your back or whatever. Yeah. I'd love to like put those in for for the stream. I wouldn't put it on the couch, I don't think, but I could put it on the the chairs that we've got. Mm -hmm. Uh, that would probably be fairly easy to do. Uh, I don't know. First, I got to do the fucking cameras. But that they're a little bit more important. I think. I mean, in reality, we could do horror stream games with the lights on, and it's easy to set up. I just think it'd be so much better in the dark. I I agree. Yeah. Just so. yeah. Especially considering I know Chad will grab me just to scare the ever living hell out of me. Oh, a hundred percent. Well, and also keep in mind we've got four cats in the house. Oh God! Oh, they're gonna come down and <laughs> oh, just yeah. rub against our legs. And... Yeah, they will. <laughs> <laughs> They'll make random noises. They'll oh, come God. rub up against you. <laughs> They'll do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's gonna help a lot for sure. Uh, I I think actually we've been recording for for just about. Uh, 30 ish at this point something like that yeah yeah pretty close so why don't we wrap up the episode there okay thank you so much for joining yes, us yes thank you we will check out all of you lovely people next week but if you're watching live right now we're gonna stick around for a little bit and if you're not watching live join us next week and watch us live absolutely Mwah. bye